Recently, I told you about my most repurchased makeup. The true test of a product is not, you know, raving about it in a video and saying, oh, yes, this is life changing and everything. It is when you buy it over and over, when you can't be without that product. You may try other products, you may like other products, but you always keep going back to these, you know, and you're also scared somewhere of running out of these. But what if they discontinued and I'm going to buy about five, you know? That if you feel that way about a product that means it's absolutely brilliant for you and that is for me the true test of a product so today i'm going to show you the skincare about which i feel that way biologic research p50w now i find the original p50 way too strong for me but this version works much better for me and i don't use it every day obviously because it is quite strong very potent acid and I also, you don't use it obviously within a week of retinoling. So yeah, I use it when I'm acneic. When I'm acneic, I unfortunately have to stop the retinol and you know, go in for acid, salicylic particularly, and glycolic to treat the acne. And that is when this comes out absolutely brilliant. Uh, and it works well with other acids and vitamin C and niacinamide, but doesn't work well with retinol, obviously. That is, you know, a one-way ticket to over exfoliation. Apart from that, I love this. The smell doesn't bother me at all, the vinegar smell. And I love that this one is oil-free. It also takes care of any peeling that you might have. This stuff is the gold standard here. You will notice that I don't have Alpha Rage Liquid Gold anymore because, you know, I feel that other products, this one particularly, does as well or better than Alpha Rage. I mean, Alpha Rage is just like oily and all it does is exfoliate overnight this one this gives you a host of uh benefits it treats hyperpigmentation there is some brightening of the skin it gives you a nice glow it takes care of acne and it isn't while very potent it isn't as so searingly harsh as the alpha rage because it contains allantoin urea arnica flower extract and gluconolactone it also contains niacinamide phytic acid malic acid salicylic acid, lactic acid, and vinegar. So we have a host of good actives for the skin. Uh, I call this a nourishing acid, actually. And, and you only need very little. A, a bottle lasts me quite a long time, you know, almost a year, I should think, a little longer than a year. I finished one bottle, this is my second one, and that is the backup that I have. It's sealed, I haven't opened it yet. Now let's talk about this one, DCL. Alpha beta gel toner. I've got one open here, but so much left in there. And then I've got one, two, and three. Hang on. All full, all sealed. Why do I have so many 200 ml bottles, you ask? Um, each time there was a gift with purchase last year, I ended up buying this. And, you know, good that I did because I'm almost out of my first bottle, thanks to all the acne that I've been getting out of stress during lockdown. So what is it? It is basically something that effectively treats breakouts. You can see that there. It contains glycolic acid and salicylic acid, obviously, and retinoid palmitate. So yeah, potent acid. Now, I this for me isn't an acid along the lines of P50. This is an acid toner. It is runny, watery. This one, not so much. It is a lot more viscous. This for me is a spot treatment. I have talked about this in a video that I did recently on favorite acne treatment products that work. I'll link that in the description box below so you can take a look. Uh, this one absolutely works as a wonderful spot treatment. The next one is a product that I actually have in stock, but you know, I don't use on a regular basis. Maybe in the mornings now because um, I, I've sort of moved to stronger acids. But there was a time when I swore by this product, and even now, I like using this on certain mornings. This is the Pixie Glow Tonic, as you can see, there's enough to last a very long time. This one was a PR sample, the others were not PR samples, I bought them uh, before the PR sample came. So yeah, I've got so much left in this one. This is full, and that would have been enough if they hadn't actually sent me the PR body sample. Um, a Pixie Glow Tonic is a great way to start off with acids if you're very new to acids because the glycolic percentage is just five and that's very, very, very mild. Pixie Glow Tonic was probably 
one of the earliest or the first skincare product that I bought back when I started breaking out in early 2016 and it sort of was a game changer for me. This is the product that got me into skincare, that started off my skincare journey. And I, you know, I, I always have a bottle in my cabinet, but I didn't think I'll be using it every day as I used to because I've moved on to stronger acids. But a great replacement for the Pixie Glow Tonic that is stronger at the same time not, you know, burns off your face until your skull can be visible is The Ordinary's Glycolic 7% Toning Solution using this one, finished one, then have a backup. This is your day, my favourite daily, daily not strong not acne daily acid this is your strong acne acid this is the spot treatment pixie is mild it is am now and this is my moderate mild to medium strength daily acid very very nice seven percent the ph is 3.6 at that pH glycolic works well. There is no oil, nothing that can break people out. And this is my absolute favorite product from the ordinary. Lovely little acid, glycolic. Before I move on to non-acid products, let me talk about a serum that is glycolic based. This is from the Inky List. I liked this one so much, I bought another one. Uh, although I suspect that was actually to reach a threshold in order to get a gifted party sometime in March or so, can't remember. Um, I mean, life before lockdown is completely different. <laughs> anyway, this is a glycolic serum that is very mild. And, you know, I find that I can even use it above the ordinary's glycolic toner as a serum with success. And it also works well as a spot treatment for, you know, those pesky come to a head but need healing acne that I have on my face. So, yeah, the inky list, alpha hydroxy acid serum serum not toner they have a glycolic toner i i like this better than the glycolic toner now i completely forgot to tell you all about cleansers sarah chapman this one's brand new see you can, I, I want to show you a lot that this isn't an empty box that's why i'm trying to admit yeah there's two of the things as you can see this is the rapid radiance cleanse from sarah chapman it is a very silky and creamy clay cleanser that is potent because it contains salicylic acid, lactic acid, vitamin C. I like leaving it on for two minutes or so when I'm brushing my teeth in the mornings and then rinse it off and then use the Cosrx Good Morning Low pH Cleanser for when my face feels, you know, cloggy and kind of stuck. I doubt though that I will be buying it again in the future because the Ren Clear Calm Clay Cleanser is a good enough dupe that costs less and you get it for 100 and you get 150 mils in this case you get only 100 mils. so yeah i may not buy the sarah chapman again vitamin c is next and although i did repurchase the dr dennis cross c plus collagen serum quite a lot last year because they had that massive gift set uh, for christmas i have one more bottle left unopened brand new sealed I have started using the Omorovica Daily Vitamin C, which the first one I got along with the Selfridges Beauty Set for Beauty Collection for her. And I liked it so much, I bought another one. By then the set was sold out. It would have been cheaper to buy the whole set instead of, you know, just the vitamin C. And I'll show you the product. I don't know why I kept the external box. I'm really ridiculous that way. Yeah, I've only got so much left actually. As you can see, only so much left. This is an incredibly nice vitamin C if you are oily and acne prone. Uh, so is the Dr. Dennis Cross, but this one is gentler and milder than the Dr. Dennis Cross. But it is still effective. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not in your face harsh, but it's not, you know, like nothing. There is some mild tingling if you're new to vitamin C. And the second one, brand new, is full glass bottle um the formula is lightweight and feels mild on my skin uh, i also like that it is fully oil free so if you're looking for an oil free vitamin c i like both this and the dr dennis gross c plus collagen but remember dr dennis gross c plus collagen is stronger stuff quite strong stuff this is milder both give a nice you know brighter look and fade hyperpigmentation faster 
this one is currently in the process of being faded away thanks to this. So will I repurchase this again? I don't know. It is either this or the Dr. Dennis Gross Seedless Collagen. One of them I will repurchase. One product that I repurchased but will not do so uh, in the near, in the immediate future is the Sunday Riley Martian Toner. This isn't a toner. I call this an emulsion. Two. Yeah, this one's full. This one's gone. Yeah, why? This should be. No, it's not gone. There's so much left. This is a kind of pump that comes up, you know, sort of product going down. Yeah. Um, what is it? It is, I mean, I call it, I don't call it a toner. I call it more of an emulsion. Uh, there is cucumber and marshmallow and green tea and bentonite clay that provides a mattification for the skin. It also contains black cumin. Black cumin is an ingredient that is effective against acne. Audacita has a black cumin serum for acne, which is quite effective, which I love. It also contains the antibacterial neem and manuka oil and witch hazel. So why will I not repurchase after this one's also done? Um, while this does an incredible job mattifying my oily face and providing great oil control, uh, I've discovered a far cheaper product that does the same thing. And there is no green liquid contained with it. So I will be repurchasing that product, which I'm going to talk about next. That product is niacinamide. I've got the ordinaries niacinamide and zinc. Three quarters gone. Why do I have the external boxes? Because the ordinary, all the bottles look alike. So I've got, you know, notes on the back of each uh, external box saying, you know, niacinamide or night, so that, you know, I don't accidentally apply retinol or lactic acid or something on my under eye area and then end up with caffeine, you know, on my nose or something. This is not my favorite niacinamide. I bought it because at the time it was the only available niacinamide at this price. This is niacinamide 10% and zinc. It does a great job mattifying my face. However, the texture is quite thick and tacky. All of the ordinary products, well, apart from this glycolic, most ordinary products, all right, I'll make that correction. Most products from the ordinary are thick and tacky in texture. This one is no exception. However, it mattifies my face and does a great job with oil control. I have discovered another 15% niacinamide product uh, recently, and I have been testing it out and I've just ordered a backup. It hasn't arrived yet, which is why it is not among my most repurchased products. However, I will be doing a review and comparison of uh, that brand and the niacinamide along with this one in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Another good niacinamide, but you know, as a serum and which is more lightweight is from Alpha Rage. This is their vitamin B and it also contains crop copper tripeptides. All right, the new one sealed. There's a bottle inside. This one is under use. Uh, the product is blue, obviously, the copper peptides make it blue apparently. Um, this is the, the feel, the texture is more lipidic than this one. However, it does a great job mattifying the face equally well and it contains no oils. It does contain lactobacillus ferment and ferulic acid and hyaluronic acid. So I actually like this better than that one. However, this one is obviously far, far, far more expensive, which is why I will be talking about another cheaper niacinamide 15% that I like better than both of these. Another serum, 5% Granactive Retinol in Spoli. This is actually I mean, I don't be put off by the 5% retinol. You only, the effective uh, percentage is only 0.5% ester of trans-retinoic acid. You don't get 5% of it. Don't worry, your face is not going to fall off. This one is very, very, very mild. The spoiling makes it milder. So what I do is I like using this as a retinol on non-prescription retinoin nights. That is the only time I use this. I've got two. This one is under use. That one is new and uh, this can be combined with all these acids without any problem. It is mild enough and gentle enough to be combined with other acids so that's why I like this. And now moisturizer. Um, I don't use this on a daily basis because I'd soon be bankrupt if I did. However I like using this not only when I have acne but also when I uh, am retinoining, retinoing, whatever. As a last occlusive. My daily go to moisturizer is another mild product, but that is a K Beauty product, and I'll do a separate video on 
the K Beauty products that I've repurchased uh, multiple times. So stay tuned for that. The product that I am going to talk about, the moisturizer that I have repurchased, is the Dr. Dennis Gross Hyaluronic Marine Oil Free Cushion. And I'll show you the new one. Obviously, oil free, you had me at oil free. Hyaluronic, you had me at hyaluronic. I have so much left in my first jar and it lasts a very 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 long time you only need a little bit and it is because it is oil free the finish that you get is demi matte at the same time your skin doesn't feel dry mind you if you have dry skin dehydrated skin this may not be enough moisture for you but for those of us with very very greasy skins this is more than enough uh because it is oil free it has never broken me out it also contains amino acids and vitamin b so yeah some additional benefit there will i repurchase after this it depends i am on the lookout for another oil free moisturizer that doesn't cost a bomb like this one if you know of any oil free moisturizers oil free please that are also shea butter free please do let me know i'll be happy to try it out because you know i'm always on the lookout for less expensive products that do the exact same thing uh the ordinaries nmf doesn't work for me please don't suggest that one people so those are the skincare products that i have repurchased as you can see, I've shown you the repurchases and the backups as well. Which are the skincare products that you keep returning to, that you keep buying again and again, that you're scared of running out of? Do tell me all of that in the comments below. I'd love to know. Maybe I'll discover something new that, you know, I need in my routine. So, yeah, do share your uh, favorites. So, that's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please do hit the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell and I'll speak to you soon.